so i have added second uh, form here that is search school so the action should be different here as there were it would go to slash confirm i have given it slash search so the user will input the school id here okay that's fine then so first whenever he enters this two data that is school and school id we need to make necessary changes in the main handler function this main handlers so this is the second field and uh, as you can see the name is stored in the school name and uh, second name that is the school id to be stored in the school id we have done it with the help of constructor so once this is done the data will be stored into the data store okay now next what we need to do is we need to search the school name with the help of school id so to do that we need another class so first we find what to do in the action is slash search so whenever the action is slash search i want it to go to search school class okay so we will take the class so we will change the class name search school so and then our name will be last name we will take the school id as the input okay and then what we need to do is uh, we need to query the school entity so in that case we'll get the whole query objects in this school so after that we need to so what we are doing here first we are getting the id and then we are querying the whole school this is our school model that is our uh, uh, in the normal sql terms if i can correlate with that that is our table name so it will consist of all the data so the school dot query will give me all the data in the model school okay but i don't want all the data i just want the data with the respect to the school id so if the school id is pi is something i want the school name uh, which is uh, i want the school name which has school id pi a okay so we have to do that next step is we need to define another name say search query something search query is equal to school dot filter and then what i want the filter name here school dot school id is equal to second name so what i am doing with school dot school id is equal to the second name that is whatever the user has entered that is second name is equal to the school id present in the data store then return it to the search query so after that this is uh, pretty simple we need to use for loop for i in search query percentages so that will be i dot
school name. So we'll see how it look in the output. Okay.